Hi guys, this is Kim again, and um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm having a great day. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about how we need to declutter our minds, especially with the holidays uh, upon us right now. Um, we have a lot going on, and we're trying to do a lot, and having ways to declutter your mind will definitely help you get through this part of what... <laughs> our life is about especially you know uh, you know with all the I mean we're doing a lot of traveling uh, we're shopping we're uh, throwing parties and things like that so these seven steps would help will help you uh, declutter your mind the first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is how we need to declutter our environment making sure your environment is decluttered will definitely help you declutter your mind the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and this is an important one, writing things down, not trying to keep everything in your head so that you'll have a list of things that you have to do, uh, you'll have a list of things that you're trying to, uh, you know, get done for the day, that kind of thing. So making sure you're writing things down and you'll be able to check the list off as you go along as well, and that will help you declutter your mind. Another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is letting the past go. A lot of times we're holding on to things that, you know, have has hurt us in the past, uh, you know, things that people have done, you know, all these things that have gone on in our past and what we need to do is let that stuff go and that will definitely help you declutter your mind as well. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is prioritize. Making sure you are putting things in an order of importance, especially right now because you have a lot going on and you need to make sure you're doing the most important things first and then you can get to the other things that, that, uh, that are not as important. <laughs> so, um, yeah prioritizing will definitely help you declutter your mind. This kind of goes along with prioritizing as well. Um, the next step is stop multitasking. Um, making sure you're doing the most, uh, like I said, the most important things first and then you'll get to the other things. And finishing one task at a time, that will definitely help you declutter your mind because you're not trying to do a bunch of things all at the same time. So m stop multitasking and that will definitely help you declutter your mind. Being decisive. This sounds simple, but it's, I know people who, I know one person in particular that it's really hard for them to make a decision. And when it's like that for you, that clutters up your mind because you don't, um, you can't decide on what you want to do, you can't decide on where you want to go, you can't really decide, and it may take you a long time to do that, but being decisive will definitely help you declutter your mind, and that's something that if, if you're not that kind of person right now, it's going to take you some practice to do that. So definitely work on decluttering your mind by being decisive. Um, let's see. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is giving yourself a break mainly because you deserve it. Um, making sure you're honoring yourself by taking a break, doing the things that you want to do, and not always working for someone else. Uh, take a break, uh, sit, go to the movies, uh, you know, sit back and, you know, watch your favorite television program, drink a glass of wine, something that's going to help you rejuvenate and take care of yourself. So make sure you're taking a break and that will definitely help you declutter your mind. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful holiday season. Stay safe out there. 
always love yourself and I will talk to you guys on the other side. Thank you so much. Bye.